Right then, guys. Welcome back to my next video. This time it's the GM510 gaming mouse from AOC. Big thank you to AOC for continuing to send me out products that I can take a look at and give you guys my overall opinion on. Especially the gaming monitors. I've reviewed so many of them now. It's unbelievable the support they give me, especially on Instagram as well as on other social media. Now, this is the 510 gaming mouse and what makes this very unique is that it's only 58 grams but it's also basically half a mouse so let's get directly into the rest of the video and I will show you what I mean okay then this is the GM 510 gaming mouse from AOC it is 16,000 DPI setting it's also got light sync which syncs up to the G menu software that's how many switches it's got with 80 million click lifespan then it's got that then lightweight hot uh, honeycomb shell design with 58 grams which is very light and as terms of what comes in the box okay so that is pretty much it you get a little bit of documentation but that is pretty much what's in the box so. Right then, so the overall design, as you as you uh, heard, it it is a honeycomb design. It's a very light gaming mouse. Now, as you can see by here, it's got the AOC logo, and then it's very very hollow inside. Yes, it's got buttons. It's got a back and forward button. That's the DPI setting. Then it's got the scroll wheel, and that's pretty much for the buttons. Then it's got this bottom here, there's the sensor, that's the DPI to reset it. And as you can see from the overall design, there's like an RGB type of light inside and it's very hollow. Now, what I'll say is it is extremely heavy. The Probably the heaviest part is this cable, which is braided. And in terms of software, there's a lot of features. You can adjust to wave, RG, RGB, you can do blink, you can do meteor where it looks like it's, you know, that type of effect. It's very good gaming mouse. So let's get direct into the rest of the video. Okay then, well, this is the GM menu. Very easy to use. And this is the settings for the mouse. As you can see, it's got a DPI cycle uh, button. It's got the right click the left click it's got a middle click it's got browser forward and back and this is the sensitivity it can go up to 16,000 dpi the polar rate is a thousand hertz and as you can see you can adjust the scroll speed the pointer speed as well as the click speed now the rgb effect is this it is a wave i've got run right now you can do it for uh, counterclockwise or clockwise and it's got breathing which is that, it, that is the effect it does. As you can see, you can ch adjust the pulsation as well as the brightness. You can't do it to one single color, you can just do it to random. I like the random. You can't do a static color. Then you could blink. Well, this one just does it a very subtle blink. I'm not a very big fan of the blink, but I prefer the color wave, to be honest. So if you go count, I, look, I mean, that is very easy. This is the GM. Uh, menu it's very easy to use and as long as you've got AOC peripherals or one of the gaming uh, monitors you can actually adjust it okay then well you've seen the rest of the video you've seen a little bit of a uh, showcase of the mouse itself you've seen the software base now yes this is a very good bargain type gaming mouse and if Personally, for me, it's a bit too small, a bit too light, but 
that's just me it's always to be it's always personal preference with anything that's peripherals headsets gaming mice keyboards it's always perspective of whoever's buying it now is it a good value i actually think it's a fantastic value because even though it's a light gaming mouse it's got a lot of good features like the rgb it's got the sensor you need you can adjust it in g menu which is very easy to use i use g menu myself because i use their own their high-end peripherals for my personal system and g menu is a breeze it's the most easier software I've ever used so is this a good mouse definitely is it a good bargain definitely should go buy it definitely and this is for everyone's here i've got more videos coming so don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and of course as always hope you have a fantastic day good